Hello all and welcome back. I'm Slideways Rush. Today I'm bringing you a build and tune setup for the Lexus SC300. So, this is the little beast. Um, this is probably the first time I've, well, it actually is the first time I've ever built a drift car. Um, I've built it to my needs and to how I like it. Um, I've been drifting on this game for around about two weeks. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, get on with the build. So let's back out of there. It's the upgrade shot. So I decided. Right, we'll load the correct tune first. So if you do want this tune, I have two. Now I will be bringing you two videos. So I've built two different builds for this car. So today we're going to be doing the, the 2J tandem. One, um, if you do want to download this tune, I have put it up if you don't want to sit here and do all this. So just search for me as a creator as Slideways Rush or just put in the description as Rush and put in the car. So we'll load this one. Install. Saving. Falls is a bit slow. Drink while we're waiting for that. So, now that's installed, just show you, we've got the crate motor here, rear wheel drive, and we'll add the twin turbos on there, so twin turbos, spoilers, um, front bumpers, anything like that is up to you, it's your own choice, I wouldn't recommend going and putting the fours or bumpers on there. But yeah, I've chose that vortex there, not adjustable. I have put the Forza wing on it just to give it a bit of style. Um, but a slight little tap and it comes off straight away anyway, so it's up to you whether you put that on. Rear bumper, put the vertex on. Last one on the group. Side skirts, I'll put the second ones in, which are the origins. What do you want to say that is? So yeah, tyres I've gone with the race tyre compound just because that's how I feel that it works best for me. Full grip on front, so that's the 245-45-16s and 255-40-17s in the back. Rims are up to you, but I think I have gone for in the second row, I've gone for the addition race a man wheels um, I have gone up one size on the front on the rim size and I've gone up two on the back just because this is how it sat better and felt better as it drifted so we've got full race clutch race transmission race drive line race diff Race brakes, race springs and dampers, race anti roll bars, race anti roll bars again, race chassis reinforcement slash roll cage, and we've got a race reduction. Right, now for the engine. So, race intake, race fuel system, race ignition. Race exhaust, race camshafts, race valves, race engine block, race pistons, race twin turbo, race intercooler, race oil and cooling, and race flywheel. So now if we back out of there and we tune the car, savings. It is saving. So, front tyre pressure 27, rear tyre pressure 23.5, final drive at 303, first at second, at second, 291, second gear at 224, third gear at 158, fourth gear at 
129, fifth gear at 111, and sixth gear at 0.98. Now for the camber, I put the camber at negative 1.8 and a rear negative negative 0.8. Toe is at 0.5 positive. Rear is at negative 0.4. I've put the caster at 7. Front anti roll bars are at 33.94. Rear roll bars are at 31.26. Springs. I have the backs hard on the front, so their uh, fronts are at 4, 7, 4, 9. Rears are at 3, 4, 3, 3. Ride height, I do highly recommend that you don't lower the car to the floor. You lower the car to the floor, it will bottom out and it will not handle. So there you go. Ride height, I've got it 5.9 on the front and 5.8 on the rear. Right, rebound. Now this played a very big part in this car and this is why the car I feel handled the way it does because I've set this up just how I want it. So the front rebound stiffness is at 5, the rear at 3.4, bump stiffness at 5.1 and the rear at 4. Downforce, obviously I can't touch the front because I didn't put the bumper on and the rear, because obviously I've got the spoiler on, I've just put that down to speed, to the right to the bottom, so 75 there. Now brake balance, I've got it to the front 75% and the pressure at 138%. Now this is down to personal preference, but this is how I like to run mine. Um, I've obviously, I'm new still to drifting, so I might change this, everything might change, because I might find something works better in a different way and not in another, so yeah. And then last but last, um, that is it, everything. Um, and that'll be the differential and uh, acceleration at 100% and deacceleration at 100%. And let's go for a test drive. Would you like to apply these changes? No, because I've already saved it. So we'll go to Silverstone and we'll take it down to the. So here I have some in-game footage of uh, me just drifting it about. Um, it's a great car, good at tandems, um, slides really well so if you like it, hit the like and subscribe button, if you got any comments, stick them down in the comments section below and I'll see you soon in the next one. See you later.